Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Go Concurrency by Simply Learn. In this session, you will learn about what concurrency is and how parallelism is different from concurrency. After this, you will learn about concurrency in Go. You will get to know Go supports concurrency with Go routines and channels. Here, we will take a dig at knowing Go routines and their properties. Further, we will learn about channels. So, hey everyone, I am Abhisar Ujo from Simply Learn and welcome to this video on Go concurrency. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start with what is concurrency. Concurrency is a process that deals with loads of activities operating simultaneously. Let's understand the concept with the help of an example. Let's consider a person driving a car. While driving, he feels hungry and reaches a drive through and collects a food parcel. He holds his car into a parking lot, eats the food and heads to his home. Here, the person is capable of performing both the actions simultaneously, that is, having his food while driving, but he performs actions in a sequence. This is concurrency. Moving on, we will understand how parallelism is different from concurrency. Both parallelism and concurrency produce the same result, but with different approaches. Parallelism is the process to perform various actions simultaneously, particularly not in sequential order. Let's understand parallelism with the help of an example discussed during concurrency. Let's assume the person is driving the car and simultaneously eating the food. In this scenario, the person performs both actions simultaneously, that is parallelly. This is parallelism. Parallelism doesn't always result in faster execution time. In parallelism, actions are performed parallelly in multiple cores, creating the need for components to communicate with each other, where concurrent systems have a low communication overhead. Now, understanding the differences, we will head to understand concurrency in Go. Popular programming languages like Python and Java use thread pools to execute concurrency, whereas Go has built-in features, Go routines and channels to achieve concurrency. Go routines are much easier to manage than thread pools that are purely operated by the operating system. Go works on the communicating sequential processes CSP concurrency model. Now, we will understand how Go routines and channels operate in concurrency model. First, we will head with Go routines. A Go routine is a function that executes concurrently with other functions or Go routines. Go routines work in the background while the main part of your program goes on to do something else. Go routines are not OS threads. To work with Go routine, you have to prefix the Go keyword to the function or method. A Go routine is a lightweight thread managed by the Go runtime. Now we'll understand the usage of Go routine with the help of an example. First, we will go through the properties of Go routines. Every program consists of at least one Go routine, and that Go routine is known as the main Go routine. Go routines are deeply integrated with Go's runtime. Go's runtime monitors Go routine behavior, suspends them when they become blocked, and then presumes as they are unblocked. Go routines are inexpensive compared to threads. They possess only a few KB in stack size, and the stack can expand and contract according to the application, whereas the stack size is fixed in the case of threads. Now we'll understand the Go routines with the help of an example. Here, in this example, we would be passing 11 and 77 as a string to the function number and then printing it with the loop 7 times. So, here, inside the package main, we will declare a function number and pass a string to it. Inside the function number, we will run a loop 7 times and print the pass string. To print, we have imported fmt package. Now, in the function main, we will call 
number function and pass 11 and 77 as string. We will save the file. Here I have saved the file with the name concurrency.co and we will open the terminal and run the file with the command go run and then the file name. We have to make sure to perform this operation in the same directory where the go file is saved. Here we will write the command go run and then the file name that is concurrency.go and press enter. You can see that we code the output as 11 and 77 7 times each. In the main function first the control will be shifted to the number function where we pass 11. It will get executed and then the control will come back to the main function and then the control will be shifted to the function number when we pass 77 to it. It will get executed and print 77 7 times. Now the control will be shifted to the main function and the program terminates as there are no other lines of code to execute in main function. Now we will be implementing go routine. For that we will use the prefix go before the function number. We will write the go keyword before the function number. We will pass the string 11. And we will save the file and run the command in the terminal go run concurrency.go and press enter. Here we can see only 77 as the output would get printed 7 times. We have released a thread go but never waited for it to come back. That's why we have only got it output as 77. To get the go thread executed we will use the sleep method in our program. For that we will write time dot sleep and inside the circle brackets we will Mention the time for one second. For that, we have to import the package time. Now we will save the file and run it. Here we have used the sleep method in our program through time package that will help the main go routine sleep for one second and in between one second the new go routine executes displays 11 as output and then terminates. After one second, the main go routine reschedules and performs its operation. We can see the output 11, 77, 11, 77, 77, 11, 77 and goes on. Now we are done with the example. Let's move to channels. Go routines communicate with other elements through channels. Channels can be thought of as a passage through which go routines communicate. The channel is defined using the make function and the chain keyword. Each channel has a specified type defined with it. This type of data is only allowed to be transported by the channel. The zero value of a channel is nil and they are not of any use until defined. Channels are designed to prevent race conditions when assessing shared memory using coroutines. With that, we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.